Libra, this week your love life is influenced by the Seven of Swords. Now, this is a complicated card with a lot going on around it. So I'm going to go over several scenarios and you pick what's appropriate to you. For some of you, you know, this is about uh, trying to get away from something, trying to escape. Now, you have the card getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. For some of you, you don't want to get to know this other person or you don't want them to know you. Maybe you were just flirting. Maybe you didn't really mean it. I don't really want a real relationship. Uh, so you're trying to escape. Maybe, you know, there was some insincerity. And so, you know, you want to get away from somebody. And this is a week where if that's your goal... Uh, you're going to be able to gracefully remove yourself from a situation. Uh, now, for others of you, you know, maybe you're involved with somebody who is not in your geographical area. Maybe you are relocating in order to get to know somebody better. Maybe they live in another city, another state, another country, and you are relocating for the purpose of getting to know that person better. For some of you, you are involved in a situation where maybe your friends have decided that they know somebody who would be good for you and they want to set you up. And you go out on this date and maybe you had very little expectation of it. But lo and behold, you find this person attractive. You get along. You guys have good rapport. And so you surprise yourself and you're surprised by the situation. But for others of you, you know, maybe this is a secret love affair. You are having a secret rendezvous because you want to get to know your lover better. Uh, for others of you, you're keeping this relationship under wraps because maybe either you or your partner uh, or your, your lover, or you, both of you have someone else or one of you does, or maybe just the circumstances surrounding your relationship there needs to be some discretion. Maybe this is an office affair or something along those means. For some of you, this is straight out deception. Somebody, again, is being, uh, maybe they're cheating or they are uh, being unfaithful. Maybe they're avoiding issues. They're running away from issues. So for some of you, there's some element of deception. Some kind of truth is being concealed on purpose. Somebody's trying to gain an upper hand by playing their cards close to their chest. So you will need to analyze carefully your situation and before you make any decisions or plans. This is also about being aware of any self-deception. Uh, you know, deceiving yourself about where the relationship is really going. Uh, maybe you're involved with somebody who's irresponsible or it's a negative situation that, you know, upends you emotionally. Uh, somebody may be misrepresenting in a way that creates some kind of unfortunate circumstance. So this could be, you know, a negative attitude. It could be, you know, very weighted words that somebody is using. Uh, maybe somebody's challenging your desires. Some of you, maybe you're going to cancel a date or an engagement or somebody, you know, simply does the unexpected. For some of you, maybe you're trying to come up with a strategy. There's somebody that you want to know and you're trying to figure out what you can do to go about getting closer to them in order to uh, understand them. For some of you, something has happened and you don't like what went down and you want to get away. Somebody doesn't want to face the music or the consequences of something. Whatever it is, this is going to be a week where ethics and integrity are going to be in focus. Uh, maybe you're being very overconfident about a situation or maybe you lack confidence. Whatever it is, this is a week where you have to be careful about being too quick to believe everything you hear. And you also need to be very careful about what you say. Because again, you're getting to know one another. You're learning about each other. And for some of you, once you discover the truth of a person, you may want to get away. Or again, somebody may be trying to take advantage. This is about wasting your time. So you may understand that, you know, once you get to know somebody, it was a waste of time, 
or perhaps uh, somebody's wasting their time trying to get to know you or you them. So this is about where you're putting your time, your energy, your effort, your emotions into non-productive relationships. Uh, now, for some of you, you're getting to know a person better because surprisingly, they're less likely to lie. They're being brutally honest. They're putting everything out there. And for some of you, you know, this is a week where maybe somebody's been hard to catch up with and they're actually going to keep their promise. They're going to show up for that date. Uh, for others of you, you're in a situation where it's like, yeah, you want to know me? You're going to have to chase me. Somebody's playing hard to get. Uh, so this is a week about being careful because above all, this Seven of Swords is a warning card. Being careful of your possessions, your safety, your decisions, and knowing that something that you've said or something you've done is going to come back to bite you, uh, especially if you're not being honest. If you're trying to deceive somebody or you've planned something, that's going to backfire on you. So this is a week where if you want to get to know a person, it's better to be completely honest. Resist any urge to embellish the truth in any way. And also, don't become too dependent on what somebody else's opinion is or what their opinion of you or what you're doing or their the need for their affection. Don't let that be the driving force for you. Because if you're totally dependent on that... It's going to erode your own individuality and it's going to keep you from, you know, standing up for yourself if that's what you need to do, especially if somebody's trying to exploit or take advantage of you. Uh, but this is going to be a week of revelation. You're going to have a new perspective. Maybe there's some new information coming through. Maybe you learn more about yourself. And for those of you who are coming up with tr some kind of strategy to connect to a person, maybe you need to, you know, be, do something different. Uh, think outside of the box in order to connect. 